Hi YouTubers, it's Tina here, otherwise known as Top Cropper here on YouTube. And um, I have seen several people do um, a desk sign um, for Essay Crafters Design Contest. I didn't actually um, enter the contest, but I thought I would go ahead and do a desk sign for myself. And my scrapbook room is in um, black and white. Um, and it's Paris themed, so that's the um, the look that I was going for with when I made this sign. And the little butterfly there is um, Martha Stewart Crafts, and it's a 3D butterfly. The key there, um, I got at Hobby Lobby um, in the home decor section, and actually they were an antique gold, and I spray painted it, or excuse me, I painted it with um, black acrylic paint. And then the bottom and the top of the sun um, is just um, Recollection Bling. And then there is a, a Color Me Crazy flower there, the white one. And then the black one with the bling is just some um, Offre um, fabric flowers that I got at one of the craft stores. And then there's a black um, feather and then a stick pen that I made. And I just picked up the wooden plaque at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it was like $3. And I spray paint, or I don't know why I keep saying spray paint. I don't spray paint anything. Um, <laughs> I painted it with white acrylic paint. And then um, I crackled it with, um, of course, Tim Holtz crackle paint. And then I went over it with rock candy crackle paint to make it shimmer. And you probably can't see that, but anyway. So there's my sign, and that's the first project that I'm going to show you. The second one is a graduation album that I made for my daughter. Um, she graduated last year um, with an associate's degree in high honors, and I'm so, so proud of her, so I thought I would make her a graduation album. I'm just now getting around to it, though, because I've had some a lot of health issues this year. So anyway, I was inspired um, by this album, um, to do this album by uh, Tanya at Time for Scrapping. I buy several of her tutorials and just kind of, that gets me started and then I just pretty much do my own embellishments. Um, but I love the design of her albums that she does. Um, they actually look like a, a book. Um, the binding, and you could also, you know, cut ho or um, punch holes here with your crocodile if you wanted to, and then add binding rings. But I didn't do that. I wanted to get finished with this one because I have so many projects I'm working on right now. Um, but anyway, this is the front cover, and the lettering that you see there is um, cut out of my Cricut cartridge, um, ly lyrical letters, and then this right here um, is a tattered florals. Um, die, uh, that Tim Holtz die that everybody uses, and uh, the pattern paper is from one of the DCWV stacks, I think it was the cotton stack, and that's some recollection bling here, and this is Velma's um, flower, um, turned out really, really good, I love her tutorial on how to make her flowers, and they're really easy, and they are just gorgeous, so that is my flower. And then um, just some uh, ribbon here at the at the bottom uh, that I got at Hobby Lobby and patterned paper. I can't remember where the black polka dot is, but anyway. Um, and that's the front cover. And then this was Tanya's design. I thought this was so cool. She did this for her Wizard of Oz album. Um, of course, this is a little... Jolie's um, sticker, the cap, and the little gown here. But this flips over like this, and so I just put a sticker um, from a pack that I had, and then this pulls down like this, and uh, these come out for journaling spots. And then, of course, there's a picture there. And then this flips out like this. There she is receiving her diploma. There she is there. And this page here is a pocket page and I just made some tags. Um, 
and they're pretty long tags too so that'll be a lot of journaling that she can do and I just stamped the tags and put some ribbon on the top and then there's the patterned paper this patterned paper is by Kay and Company it's the case Sera Sera but it's the um, um, that doily type paper um, and I just cut it all to pieces and I used um, photo corners here out of it and I thought it looked pretty good and then the next page here is this little graduation cap was cut out of my um, wild cards cartridge and then I just put a black brad here and I just made my own tassel and then inside here to cover the brad I just put a sticker and then that's the date she graduated this is a very long page I'm going to try to do this one handed but um, these are the initials here of her of the college she graduated from and then you open this up and this and then you can see the um, picture there and then then it all opens up into one piece like that so that's a pretty long page there um, you just fold it back up. And then the next page this one. And the congrats there, the little die cut I got in a swap that I was in. And that's her and her stepfather. And then there's some more of that Casera paper. And that's just a sticker or a border sticker at the side there. And this page here, just got some ribbon I picked up at Hobby Lobby and used another one of my tattered floral dies and backed it on some patterned paper. And then this page here, um, the little uh, black background behind the, the picture is... Um, actually a doily that I painted with acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, and then I added some recollection bling. And then I just adhered a little bit of ribbon and another one of those fabric flowers, but I changed the bling on it. It was silver and I changed it to the gold bling. This page is blank because I do not have a picture of her and her husband at the graduation, and she does, so I'm going to let her do that page herself. And then this page here uh, is just the family and some more of um, the bottom uh, butterfly there. I made that just adhered, you know, the sides here and, and in the middle to hold this little envelope here. And um, this just opens up. It's Velcroed and it just opens up and it has a little thing in there. Says, we are so proud of all you have accomplished. Well, there it is. It's just, I thought that was cute. And that just slips back in there. And then, this is the last page. This was cut with my Martha Stewart punch. I just added a ribbon here. And then I just double matted her picture. And then the back is just, um, just some felt that I had um, purchased at Hobby Lobby and um, it's like a crocodile print and so that is my book and I hope she loves it I'm sure she will she'll be very excited about it but ladies I really appreciate you watching my video and you all have a very blessed day thanks Till next time. Bye.